welcome to the Shannon Jarvis Coaches Show, sponsored by Lake Russell Build Supply, Slabco, and McGee Heating and Air. Coach, we've got to review the Athens Academy game, yeah. a tough one. What a football game, 35-34, comes yeah. down to the last few seconds of the game. Yeah. I thought we played very physical, yeah. run the ball hard. Uh, again, we had a turnover or two that, that uh, had an impact, but uh, kind of give us what you felt about the game with a undefeated leading the region at this academy thing. Yes, it's like I told the kids after the game, I was extremely proud of our kids' effort and resiliency and, and how hard they played in the game, and not just in spurts, but really throughout. That's right. um, that okay. was a high-level football game, and um, our kids answered it, the bell every time they had an opportunity. And, and you know, um, defensively, a couple of them stops late in the game, you know, we had kept giving us chances to, to, to make plays, and, and offensively, um, again, like you said, we had the turnovers that, that were big parts of the game. Uh, but they will be in any game you play this time of year when you're playing such a uh, quality opponent because everything gets magnified now, right? Mm -hmm. know, and so um, that's in this game. But, um, you know, our kids played so hard. And our, our offensive line is one of the best games they've played um, with, with not just statistically but just in performance too. You know, you get close to 500 yards of offense and you feel pretty good about that. But, you know, I tip my hat to Athens Academy. They, they, they have a couple of players on their team. The sophomore receiver, um, he, he's gonna be as good as you see. Yeah, I've coached a long time, and he's in that top top that tier of, of players. And you know, luckily he's just a sophomore, but he, he's a tremendous player. And you know, and I, I remember Jose Rodriguez for us had played a great game, and you know, one of the touchdowns he gave up, he absolutely couldn't have played that any better than yeah. he did. And, you know, sometimes in it you have to tip your hat to the other team right. and, and, and go to the next play. And so um, there wasn't anything that I was fault of on our kids. I was really encouraged by it and um, by, by our play and what our kids did. So we had to get over it and move on. And, and I'm going to say this, my, my pain and my frustration more was for our players and, yeah. and for me personally. I just, right. you know, you coach and, and you wish life was fair, whatever that is, you know, in regard to put everything into it, play the guts out and um, just the, the – the, the, what you got to learn from it is it's not fair. No, y'all. The response has got to be we got to keep swinging and keep working. And, and at the end of the day, we use football to, to learn so that we can live life at a higher level. And hopefully for our kids, and I know for us coaches, as much as as coaches we felt like our kids deserve to win that game, that just means our response as coaches is we got to work that much harder to still believe in them, still prepare. And that's what we've done uh, in both the open week and as now we prepare for uh, Reagan County. Um, for our community and our players. I think they'll tell you this. Our last week's open week, I thought we had as good a week of practice as we've had all year. We did a lot of just best on best and competition. Just our, our focus was just let's get back to enjoying football. Not that we wasn't enjoying it, but when you have a tough loss, it, it takes a sting right. in everybody. And so uh, very spirited practice, probably as spirited as we've had all year last week. And I, I say for coaches and players, rejuvenated and um, I mean we still worked on blocking and tackling and all that but we had some fun periods in there with them and um, I'm very pleased with them and then this week showed back up and, and, and you know ready to go to work. You know one thing I would say as a reflection to the character of our kids. First and foremost we're all frustrated with the results and, and you know it, it is you know it's about wins and losses. At the end of the day that's what you get evaluated with but um, I do love high school football because I've done it long enough. It is what happens 10, 15, 20 years. What's the long-term impact? Exactly. But, but for our kids, uh, you know, coming in Monday morning after that loss, I was like, I had no idea. We got an open week coming up. I had no idea how many of our kids would be in first block. Every single player in first block was there. And when they, when I knew we had them in their first block, I knew we were going to be okay. And when I say, by we're going to be okay, I'm telling you, we still have some wonderful moments in, in this season. We're still pushing for it. Um, you're not going to see any quit in our kids. You know, obviously, you got seating on the line this coming Friday night. you got playoffs. You know, we, 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 had, we had a pretty good run. We've had some decent little wins in playoffs that we're chasing right now. And one thing I say to our kids is they remember what you do in November. And so that's what our focus is. And, um, and, 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 and the bitter taste in our mouth, hopefully we're using those motivation moving forward. And for every, every indication with our team, that that's what they've done. And, and with them being there that Monday morning, show me the result that they've got. That's a compliment to their parents, their families, and, and their blue double pride. And so that's what we're working on. And I, I'm going to be honest, we're still excited about this year for coaches yeah. for players we are and uh, we're going to line up and we will play anybody in the state anywhere they want to play and uh, let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe and compete coach uh, you know only good thing about getting old is you can say things like well I've been in that granite bowl watching games and teams since the yeah. 
the late sixties. Okay, I, that's the only good thing about getting yeah. old. But I can tell you this: I've seen a lot of them. We got a good football. Team. I know we do. I will tell uh -huh. you right uh -huh. now: we have a good football uh -huh. team. And to me, the season starts up there at Tiger Friday night. Mm -hmm. That's when the season starts yeah. because there's nothing to say. We can't do anything we want to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I. It, it was devastating, I can tell you this. I've, I've been with Stuart now a lot of years. And we went out to that truck at the Granite Bowl and we sat down in the truck and we didn't hardly say a word, but we didn't do nothing, we just sat there. And we, it, even had the, we, uh, we even had the coach of Athens Academy come over to the truck and say they had their trailer there, yeah. getting their equipment all in. And uh, he said, do y'all need to get out? And I said, no, we good, we just sitting here. For me. And he talked, was talking about Coach Dyer's buddy in college and all that stuff. So we had a great conversation, but we are in, invested in it uh, as much as anybody. And we had to just sit there for a, a little while just to regroup. And because I will say we were in that on the radio, I was in it like I was in it, in it, in it. Yeah. And that's a good feeling to, I like that, the juices flowing on that. So, well, that's. Um, one thing I brought up to our kids, even getting ready for this, I'm ready to go back into battle with this team, you know, and, and because we know what we're going to get. And that was the fun part about that game and, and a lot of our games this year. We're battling in every single one of them. Our kids, we're doing everything we can. And, um, you know, you'd like to control maybe some of the mistakes, but the reality is, is our kids are playing their hearts out. And that's one thing we can control. And so, you know, even as the head coach here when I first came here, my number one priority was to put a product out there that we could be proud of. Now, granted, that we got to win too, and I, I love to win as much as anybody. But uh, Friday night, I, my frustration was more for our players and the, the kids that have put in everything into it, because you want them to receive the benefits the, of, of that hard work. And and and, and listen. That means we got to keep working hard to go chasing. We got to make those benefits. We got to keep as long as we get the right on the plate, we still have to be able to do that. And that's what we get to do Friday, and and that's my excitement to be able to go up to Tiger, Georgia, and with Reagan County. And I know we'll talk about them in just a minute, but y'all can already see my mindset has moved ahead. But we got to learn from what we went through, and 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 we know our kids know what it takes to win big games like this. A lot of them have done it before, but um, we're just a, a place here, or there, short, and uh, we got to keep fighting to get to that play. And as long as we get to tee it up, like I said, we uh, we're gonna keep chasing it. Well, there's 31 teams out there that don't want to <laughs> play us. I can tell you that yeah. in the playoffs because we are we are good. Yeah. We eliminated a few turnovers. Uh, I mean, we can really make a run in, in the playoffs, but. We're going to Raven County Friday night, and we'll be back to preview Raven and Elbert right after this. This is the Shannon Jarvis Coaches Show. Welcome back to the Shannon Jarvis Coaches Show. We reviewed the Athens Academy last game a week or two ago. Um, now the grass is turning brown. Now we're getting into November. Yeah. Um, that's when the fun time starts. So the old foe of Raven County up in Tiger, Georgia, in the mountains. Last year we went up there and punched them in the mouth, come back with a victory. The Raven County of last year does not look like the Raven County this year. So, yeah. kind of give us an idea. Marvin has watched 85 films ready to go. and knows Absolutely. every <laughs> So we're gonna go there Friday night, so tell us what we're gonna expect. Yeah, first and foremost, obviously they play so hard and, and, and the kids are so, there's such a proud tradition there that they have and, and rightfully so, they've, they've won a lot there and um, uh, they, when it looks a little different, you know, they're not as pass heavy as maybe they've been in the past. Um, their quarterback can run, very good player, but their running back, and really they have two, 15 and one, both of them are very effective. Right. But uh, their running backs, I can argue they may be the best we've seen this year. And we've seen a lot of good ones from Lincoln into Hart to all, you know, Stevens County. I'm, I'm sitting there rattling right. them off. We've seen a lot of talented backs this year. And don't let me forget the ones at Commerce, all of them. But their, their running back is a tremendous player where if we don't fit perfectly on defense and if we have a linebacker that overruns one thing, his cutback ability, it's really what you see on college, you know, when yes. college's backs do that. And he does such a very good job with that. And, Really going into last year's game, that was the key to it was our defensive fits being right, and our kids did well in that, but that was last year. And right. so we've got to have the discipline to be able to do it. Uh, Ravens going to run the football. I mean, they, they make no bones about it. They do a lot of uh, formations uh, where they're very creative in their running game, very similar to what we try to do. We try to do the same thing to add advantages through formations. We don't line up in the same set over and over. So 
we've got to have our discipline both in how we align and um, and then we, we've got to be able to get off blocks at the point of attack. I think their offensive line does a good job of coming off and, and they, they execute so well with their angles and that's one thing I even showed our players doing film is like they're, they're not going to be sloppy so we have to match that with our technique. So this will, this will be a very, very good football game Friday. You know, the truth is, it's what we've been playing in the region throughout, you know, um, and so, uh, but our players have got to respond to that, and it's going to be a huge challenge, great opportunity, but, you know, it's like we've talked about it, just go up there and let's get in a fist fight and let's play ball, because that's, it will take a physical, physical, mental tough football game to win this one. You know, I, watching them, even from the first day, we've gotten the region with them, and the first thing I noticed right off the bat, they play hard. Yeah, they yeah. play extremely hard. I, 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 and I forget the kid's name now, but he probably was 168 pounds, but yet he ended up with a couple hundred yards against us every time because he won't let you tackle him. Yeah. Now, he doesn't play like 168. Yeah. And this is going to be a game where you've got to get somebody, you've got to get those running backs on the ground because yeah. don't anticipate that they're just going to cut and yeah. lay there. Yeah. They're not. They think they're going to they're take the distance yeah. every time. I think they've got a tremendous offensive line, but the thing that sticks out to me more than anything is several years ago, the old coach that was there, he sold them on Elbert County is now in our region. There's our rival. Yeah. That's our rival. And I honestly, early on, I don't think we even thought about them. Mm -hmm. We think about them now, oh, yeah. and now I feel like it's one of our top rivals that we yeah. play because it is an aggressive physical game, and we got to match that. Yeah. we got to match that aggressiveness no, and right. do it in a way that we don't get ourselves in penalty situations. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be who wants to win that football game the yeah. worst. You, you Ty, I already said that to our players. He wants it the worst. Um, I, one thing that we did show was a lot of clips, not just in scheme, but just their backs and the tackles that they break in the backfield. They did it at Athens Academy where one guy had him locked up and, and nobody, you know, he was by himself and he broke out of there. It's going to take two, three of our defenders. We've got to get their game tackling. That comes down to effort um, on them. So I can talk about being gap sound and all that stuff all I want, and that's true. But you've got to get white hats to the football. And um, so we've got to play with that intensity with them. And you talk about Raven, ever since I've been here, they've been the benchmark. You know, sure. that's exactly when we got here. I don't know how long that region win streak was, and rightfully so. They did a great job. Kids were great players. and um, but, but, you know, in this year, they, this opponent this year, they got a tremendous football team. And um, it'll, take every, it'll take our best game to beat them. And, and that's what we've got to be prepared to go up the mountain and do. Coach, I, I just got to believe that their coach is looking at them right now in the locker room. He's saying the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. The season just starts yeah. with Elbert County on Friday night because yeah. our region did very well last year in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and, and we've got a really good region. And, yeah. and I don't think uh, I think we'll all represent our region very, very well, even including Athens Academy. Right. They'll be in the private school tournament. They'll do yeah. the same thing. And uh, and I just got to believe that uh, we. We've got another game in us oh, yeah. that is the game you want. Oh, I know. And we got an opportunity to get that out. And I just believe, I know it came out in trial, and I know yeah. that for a fact. Yeah. Uh, that game's still in us, Coach. We got that. I think we still got multiple games in us yeah. like that, to be honest. And, and I think you'll see with both teams Friday, there's nobody looking ahead at anything. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, like you said, it, it's the playoffs are now. Really, we started that two weeks ago with Athens Academy. Like, this starts our level. We've got to start playing at that level. And so we've got to take the positives of that and build off of it into this game. Because this time of year, it really comes down. You've got to have, you got to be built for playoff run. You've got to be able to have a great offensive and defensive line. And, but you got to protect the football, too. But it comes down to who gets the hottest right here and who's executing. And who. So that that's what you're looking at. And, and then, you know, then springboard that into the playoffs. So um, we're not looking past them, I can promise and um, as far as our coaches I don't feel our players are either based on how we've been preparing the last two weeks so we're we're excited about it we're treating it like a playoff game and like you said it's November the grass is brown this is where everybody remembers you your your legacy your the book this team wants to write is really coming up in these next few weeks right. and we've got um, had a week off mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm hoping I haven't spoke to you lately but I'm hoping that all the bumps and bruises has kind of healed up and yeah. So we'll be pretty healthy for sure. you know outside of the, outside of our season ending injuries. You know we should have everybody available. Um, you know we were banged up after the Athens Academy game. They were too. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but <laughs> yeah, that was a good timing on that yeah. week off. So um, you know we we should be ready to go full speed as far as who we have right now. So we're excited about it. Believe it or not, Friday night is the last 
regular season game. It's the each season, as far as me, me and Marvin are concerned. We say it every year. We said it this year. First game, going first game. I can't believe it's already here. Well, by the last regular season. So come to Tiger and join us as Raven hosts our Edward County Blue Devils in the last regular season game of the year and our last region game. We don't know anything about the playoffs. We won't know until after that game. Um, but come support your Blue Devils. The kids need you to be the, be the 12th man in the stands. Until next week, this has been the Shannon Jarvis Coaches Show, sponsored by Slabco McGee Heating and Air and Lake Russell Building Supply. See you next week.